ready? Great! Buckle your seatbelts and click on the Let's Go button to start our mission. Episode titles starting with the letter A to E. Dragon Kite. Edvard Grieg wrote his famous suite, number one, in the Hall of the Mountain King, for the play Peer Gint. But years later, Grieg himself was the subject of a play. The operetta Song of Norway opened on Broadway in 1944 and told the story of Grieg's life. Sai Jia was born around 1721, the same year that Johann Sebastian Bach composed his famous Brandenburg Concerto. Even though it's a museum today, the Forbidden City used to be home to royalty in China many years ago. It must have been a great place to play hide-and-seek. There are more than 8,000 rooms in the palace. Cho Ying painted his art in the early 1500s. Today, he is considered to be one of the four great masters of the Ming Dynasty. K2 is the second highest mountain in the world. Only Mount Everest is higher. While Zozan's Eight Views of the Shao and Shang Rivers is a painting, it wasn't created on a canvas like most paintings. Zozan painted his masterpiece on six panels of a big folding screen more than five feet high and ten feet wide. Zhang Lu is famous for creating his art using ink on paper, silk, or scrolls. Some of his art is black and white, while other paintings use a few colors. The Great Wall of China is the longest man-made structure in the world. In fact, it is so long that you can actually see it from the Earth's orbit up in space. Ready, go. Dragon Kite. Art by Zhou Shan, Zai Jia, Zhong Lu, and Zhou Ying. And... Music by Edvard Grieg. Hello, I'm June. I love to dance. Do you like to dance? Magnificent! I'm practicing my super ballet leap and raising my arms as high as I can. La 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 la. Can you raise your arms high? Let's see. Raise your arms high. Reach for the sky. La, 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 la. Wow, that was really high. Do you hear that? It sounds low. Really low. Where is that sound coming from? Ah! It's a dragon! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you, little dragon. But I wasn't exactly expecting to meet a dragon in my backyard today.